Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thanks very much for joining me today, Wednesday, uh, for another Waffle On. Hope you enjoyed the last videos that I put out. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thanks very much for all my new subscribers that have come over. Uh, it's moving up fast, so we're getting close to 30,000 subscribers uh, soon, which I'm really quite chuffed with, quite overwhelmed by it really. So. Uh, I really want to just say thanks to all of you that have come over to the channel and I really do hope that you know you find something uh, in the channel and watching the videos that really does help you guys out. So the giveaways, ah yeah, congratulations to the guys that won the giveaways. We had Joel who won a lathe, he seems really chuffed uh, to receive that. Um, that win and also Stephen and I've also asked them both if they're sort of like drop us over a bit of a video clip uh, or maybe just even a picture or something video clip would be cool though then I can add it into a maybe a, a Wednesday and we can watch them opening the, the lathe so they've been sent off to you guys so congratulations to those and I know that um, you know there's a lot of people on there that entered so uh, but don't forget you've got the code guys you do have that code to use for a whole month and that will give you a bit of a discount off of that lathe. That code isn't available anywhere else. So uh, don't forget the NZ code if you want to grab one of those little lathes. They are fantastic bits of kit as well. So I definitely would recommend if you're thinking about getting into turning, then check out the, the Record Power site. Um, so yeah, back to uh, Joel and Stephen. Well done. Ping me over um, those... Um, opening videos when you get those guys and then uh, we can add you into the uh, Wednesday waffle. So getting close to 30,000 subscribers which is really cool so I'm going to do another giveaway at 30,000 subscribers. I think that's quite good uh, and I want to keep on trying to give back to you guys because obviously you guys are helping me build the channel up. Not too sure what it's going to be yet but I'll let you in on that soon when we hit the 30,000. So, a couple of things today, guys. I've got a couple of shout outs to give out today. One of them is, so this guy, this guy is making some really great stuff. This guy is called uh, Greg Newman, or Human, sorry, Human, Human? Human, I think it's Human, yeah. Greg Human from blowmeaway.com. Check out the link below. Now, he contacted me because he was, um, I mean, this guy's pretty talented, he makes, uh, microphones for famous people, um, uh, artists, music musicians, um, and they come to him and, and request, you know, a certain mic, and he built, he makes it out of wood, um, you know, from scratch. And um, he kind of wanted to try out the pencil uh, idea, and he wanted to make a mic out of pencil. So um, he showed me a picture of this mic that he done out of pencils. It looks so cool. That is amazing. That is so cool. Um, and I said to him, wow, you know, that's amazing, Greg. Um, I've got to shout this out. I've got to tell you guys, you know, what you're making because it's really pretty cool. So, um, Greg, awesome work, mate. And, um, you know, I'm pretty inspired by by looking at that and looking at some of the other work that you do do. Um, so, uh, fantastic. But check this guy out. You, you know, if you're a musician or, you know, if you're into music or, or whatever, head on over to his site, order a mic. <laughs> Not the pencil one though, I might buy that, although I can't sing. Um, still, you can always try these things, you never know. Could be a good singer. Holding back the years. Let's stick to wood turning. Um, so, I've got another shout out for you, um, and this is from a, um, as I said to you before, I've got quite a lot of young, younger generation um, that are watching and want to get into woodworking and wood turning, which is fan fantastic, fabulous. I really am chuffed that there are youngsters out there that uh, want to feel the need to get into using their hands um, and, and get outside, get in the shed, garage, workshop, wherever, and start to try to create things, make things, because it's fantastic. It really is, one, it's a great hobby, two, it's just amazing to be able to come into a shed and make something. It doesn't have to be perfect. Whatever it is, you've made it. It doesn't matter. It's great. 
You know what I mean? If it comes out and you have a few problems, who cares? You've gone in there and you've come out and you've made something. Now this girl contacted me through her dad's account, Gary Peacock. This girl is called Paige. Hi Paige, how you doing? Um, and uh, thanks very much for sending me these clips in. So here's Paige. She's been inspired to start woodworking and wood turning and she loves it, really loves it. So I said to her, look, would you mind if I kind of mention you and, and give you a bit of a shout out on the channel and here's your shout out page um she doesn't have a facebook page or anything like that you know she hasn't started any youtube channel or anything but she may do but this is where it all starts from guys this is where it starts from and i hope that you guys will get inspired by this young lady who's just started you know woodworking and wants to get out there and start creating and making things this is just amazing this really just made me feel really I don't know, it just made me feel really good. And I've been contacted by a few other um, people as well saying how they are wanting to get into wood turning and can I help them and can I advise them and so forth. And yeah, and I give you all the knowledge that I know. Guys, don't forget I'm not a professional wood turner. I don't pretend to be either. But I've learned from watching other people and I would recommend definitely you need to get some lessons in. Uh, and there's loads of people that do uh, wood turning lessons, you know, and, and no doubt there'd be people in your area if you search on Google. I've been getting lessons uh, here, um, but also I'm learning, you know, from reading books, I'm learning from reading on the internet, um, watching other videos, um, you know, and there's a great deal of really great videos out there that you can really learn from. Um, there's some really professional wood turners um, that, that will be able to show you proper techniques on wood turning and stuff. So, um, you know, and I, but I'm glad that you get inspired to want to work, uh, do wood turning from this channel. That, that's, that's just amazing for me. Paige, awesome, absolutely awesome. Keep it up and thanks very much for sending me your pictures in. Also had a couple of gifts in the post. One of them is over here, the other one I've left at work. <coughs> this is one from a guy called Colin and he's made this for me. Look at that. Check that out. Got his little logo in the bottom there. CL. And he's made me a pen as well. Actually, it's not a pen. It's a pencil. But that is awesome. Look at this little ring thing in it. I mean, how did you get that in there? That's pretty cool. Um, works really nicely. This little leather strap pops off. There is a little USB stick in there, but I don't have anything to show you, but this is like a little animation. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, I'll see if I can show it to you at the end of the video, if I can add it in at the end when I'm editing, but that's pretty cool. So, Colin, mate, thanks so much for sending this in. This is absolutely awesome. I don't think you've mentioned that you've got a page or anything, or a YouTube page, because it's not on the letter that you sent me, um, as far as I'm aware. If it is, or if I find it somewhere, I will put a link below, but... I don't think there is, but you've obviously used a, a bit of a, I don't know, CNC, um, so he's used a bit of a CNC machine here, I think, to cut this out. I'd love to do that kind of work, I really would, because um, it looks really nice, it sort of carved it out, and sort of, yeah, brilliant. But thanks so much, you know, appreciate it, guys. Any, all the stuff that you send me, you know, I really do appreciate, you know, the stuff that you send me, take the time out to make something like this for me and pop it in the post, it's just, well, overwhelming really and thanks very much for all your stickers uh if you've noticed your sticker up there if you haven't seen your sticker up there send me a sticker give you a shout out if you want but if you want to just do a sticker swap then happy days i'd love to do a sticker swap for you and, and get some stickers on the board uh, i've got some cards down here now because if you see them here so i've got some cards here because um some people don't always have stickers and i'll pin them to the bottom here and we've also got some um at the top here as well this is a good badge. This is this is is. I said to, a little while ago that I didn't have Izzy Swan's uh, sticker, but I've got his badge, and it's TMA. And I've only just realised that TMA stands for Tool Masters Association. Go and check it out. Link below. Check out his uh, well, check out his channel anyway. Izzy Swan and his Tool Masters Association. Thank you very much for those of you that have gone over to see my little boy's channel. Absolutely amazing. He's so chuffed to be getting some of my fellow subscribers over to his channel. I think he's on about 415 subscribers at the moment. And um, so many people have shouted him out. So 
personally, I just want to say thanks very much for Jim Overton, Heath Knuckles, uh, Jimmy DeResta, um, Jamie Page from JP Woodwork. Um, have I missed anyone else? I can't remember if I've missed anyone else. But you guys have all given him recently a shout out and I really just appreciate it so much. And that means so much to a little kid like that. But what makes it even more uh, appealing for him is that he has people like you that are, you know, watching him and, you know, giving him the thumbs up and commenting. That means a lot to a little kid. It really does. It does mean a lot. He really wants to try to make stuff, you know, and he wants to please you guys, you know, and, and he loves you watching. So thanks so much for all your support. And if you want anything from me like that, just ping, let me know, email me, whatever I can do for you guys, just let me know and I'm always happy to help and assist wherever I can. And thanks very much for all the people that have gone over there so far. But um, if you haven't heard, and if you don't know, Charlie's channel is below, it's called Charlie the Maker. Um, I won't keep plugging him all the time, but it's only a recent channel that he's opened up. He's only got three videos up there, um, but um, pretty amazing. He's, he's just thinking of some ideas now for his next video. He might not always post every Friday because it's quite, you know, he's got he's doing school and stuff and it's quite a lot of work for him to be able to do it. And obviously I do need to help him on some occasions. So, um, but he'll try and get one up every Friday if he can. But if you haven't seen it, check it out. Link below. Charlie the Maker, go and watch him if you can, or just show a bit of support if you if you wouldn't mind. It'd be really, I really would appreciate it. Thanks very much. Um, <coughs> if you haven't seen my vlog channel, pop over there and have a look. I've just uploaded a, the trip to Malta that I went to, and uh, if you haven't seen that yet, check it out. For those of you that are interested in watching vlogs, I know some of you aren't, but you know, it's just uh, there's not much content on there. It's just me messing around with my drone, which I love doing. A uh, bit of sunshine and just, you know, with the family really. So, uh, the, so the, I posted one out there last Friday and there is another one going out, part two, uh, this Friday. I don't know why I've still got my glasses on because I only need them to read and to see things. And I can see you fine. <laughs> um, <coughs> what else have I got going on? Anything else? And I've got a video for you this Friday. So that's coming out. Hope you like that. Um, and I'm working on a few other things. Ah, yes. Now I've got this as a project coming up, so I'll show you and see if you can work out what it's going to be. You won't have a clue, obviously. If all works out, this will be in an up and coming project. It's massive. Look at it. It's huge. I've got an idea from, oh, a bit of bark. I've got an idea from somebody else um, who's made some something really cool. And I've spoken to them, uh, or colleagues of, of them, and I've said, look, I really want to make this that you've made. Because this guy makes what I'm going to make. I'm not going to tell you, I'm just going to keep you hanging. <laughs> he makes these things, and he sells them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it for him. No, I'm not going to make it for him. I'm going to make it for me and for you, because he doesn't, do or he doesn't do YouTube. He just makes the stuff um, and uh, he sells them. So we're going to try to make one if possible and if it doesn't work out then you won't ever see this again because <laughs> the video won't come out. But I'm going to try and make one. That's really going to get you wondering now what is he going to make with that bit of wood. But anyway I'm going to shout him out and uh, and if anyone wants to buy one of these things that I'm going to make or try to make then you can head on over to his site and buy one because I won't be making any more of them but I just wanted to, I saw it and I thought that is so cool I want to try and make one of them um, I know I've got you all thinking now and uh, if I don't succeed in making it what I'm going to do um, is I'm, I'll uh, do another shout out for him and get you over to his channel and show you some pictures of the stuff he makes. But that's all I'm going to say right now. And I'm hoping to get this done in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully it will be, you'll see it in the next couple of weeks. If it works out, don't know if it's going to work out because it looks quite tricky. 
but we'll see. So anyway, there we go. Um, what else has happened? Nothing else has happened. Ah, uh, yes, I've bought some of these stains. You've seen me use these spirit stains, and these are brilliant. And loads of people ask me about the stains. So, just quickly, before we wrap up, um, I bought loads of these, and you've seen me use the small ones. You've got small ones here? These ones, these are tiny ones that I mainly use. And I don't do a lot of stain work, and not a lot of people, well, I say not a lot of people, it's, it's a fine line. You either really like love it, or you really hate it. And there's, a, there's not a lot, of, I don't find there's a lot of people that really like doing stain work. Um, but I don't mind it. I quite like doing it on occasions, and I've done a few projects. So I'm going to uh, do a couple more projects with this stain stuff, and I've got some of this more of a bigger, bigger one. Um, so you'll see that coming up in, in, in a few videos soon as well. But anyway, to let you guys know, this is a chestnut product, chestnut products, and it's called Spirit Stain. So you could check out, that was a bit dusty when I did that. Check out their site and buy some Spirit Stain if you wanted to know where it comes from. So I'll put the link below for that. But if you don't want to get the big one, you can just get the little tiny ones. And they're very cost effective. So, But these are great. I love using these stains. So check them out. So that's it, really. So that's all I've got to say today. Um, I've still got quite a lot of pencil stuff I'm making. Um, pencil pots and bowls and things which I am I'm still kind of making I've given my beard a little bit of a trim yes I'm going to keep it <laughs> I think that's it I think we're we're done for Wednesday hopefully that you guys are uh, are all well hopefully you enjoyed uh, today's uh, episode and uh, I shall see you all on Friday for a uh, project video take care see you all soon